Hey, Logan here, creator of Copilot for Obsidian. Today, I'm going to demo the feature called Advanced Custom Prompt. It enables you to compose long and complex prompt using your Obsidian nodes through templating. I'll show some example use cases, like letting the AI generate weekly notes, literature notes for a book, or start a quiz session over your own material based on your own templates. These are just small subset of what it can do. I encourage you to try it out and come up with your own creative templates. The only limit is our imagination. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. With the Copilot plugin installed in Obsidian, you can trigger these Copilot commands. There are add, edit, delete custom prompts. There's also an ad hoc custom prompt if you don't want to save it. It used to only work on a text selection, not anymore. Now you can leverage this kind of template. Curly braces by themselves still represent selected text. A node title is wrapped inside double bracket, the same as everywhere else in Obsidian. Curly braces with text inside represent a folder name. It plugs all the nodes in that folder into the prompt. The newest member is the list of tags. Now you can use hashtag to include all nodes with these tags. One comment is that the list of tags is like an OR operation. Basically, it means all nodes with any of the tags will be included here. Now I'm going to show some use cases for the advanced custom prompt feature. These are just examples to get your imagination warmed up. I'm sure you will come up with many more creative ways to use it. My examples include creating a new weekly note using a template and the previous weekly note, generating a literature note using a template and exported highlights from a book, and generating a quiz using a quiz template and a list of questions. They all follow the same simple form. Using a template for X, transform content X into a new form. For example, here's a weekly note I created for a person who's preparing for a coding interview. The first step is to have a template. You can define your own, or just let AI generate it for you. Here, my weekly note template looks like this. Review of last week. Start by reviewing how well the previous week's goal was achieved. List out significant achievements and things that fell short in separate lines. Goal for the week. List the objectives for the week, integrating any rollover tasks or goals from the previous week. Outline the following for the whole week. Key tasks, appointments, deadlines, and a bunch of to-dos, notes and ideas. Reflection. I think reflection is mostly for us only. It's not good for AI to fill it for you. So I uh, have leave as blank here. And here's the fictional previous week's note. Review of last week completed binary tree problems. Insights need more focus on recursion concepts and practice. Objective, complete all pending recursion problems. And there's uh, some key tasks for recursion, dynamic programming. There are some questions done and some to be completed. And there's an appointment, weekly coding, study group on Thursday at 7 p.m. A deadline, complete all recursion problems by Wednesday, start dynamic programming problems by Thursday, and, and some to-dos. Now is the time for you to add your own custom prompt uh, around this. By triggering the copilot command, add custom prompt and write down the title and your prompt. I already have it, so let me show you my prompt with the command edit custom prompt. It looks like this. Use the format and instructions in weekly note template. Start a new weekly note. Make sure to replace the description section following the instructions and roll over in complete items from the last week. Um, remember to list each item on their own line, blah, blah. You get what I mean. And let's see if it works. You can assign keyboard shortcut to these custom prompt. I assigned command L, highly recommended. It's super convenient. So trigger great new weekly note. Review of last week did not complete pending recursion problems. You see here that it generated some comments on the previous week's goal. 
it figured out that we didn't complete all pending recursion problems and we did not meet the goal of solving at least three dynamic programming problems. And it gives us new objectives, which sounds good. Okay, I'm just gonna copy and paste to create a new weekly note. You can fine tune the instructions in the description in your template, uh, but the, this is the gist of it. The next use case I'm showing is to generate a literature note automatically from the exported highlight of a book I read. Um, here's the highlight I exported from the book Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. And this is the literature note template I'm using. Identify key topics and concepts, generate a few potential tags, put them inside this list. Summary of key points, important quotes, actionable ideas, and personal reflection. And here is the prompt. Use the format and instructions of literature note template, create a new literature note based on the content of book Can't Hurt Me which has all the exported highlights. Make sure to follow the instruction, blah, blah, blah. It's pretty similar to the previous one, actually. And here is the result. What do you think? I think it's pretty good. Uh, next, I'm going to show the quiz example. There is a common way to improve the model output quality that is called few shot prompting. It's basically you providing concrete examples for the model to learn from. For instance, say I'm preparing for the US citizenship test and need to get familiar with the 100 questions. I can have the questions in OneNote and some few shot instructions in a template like this. Then my prompt is pick questions randomly from the question pool US citizenship test 100 questions and follow the format of quiz template to start a quiz session. Ask one question each time, stop and wait for the user. After the user answers, provide the correct answer and explanation. Repeat this process until the user says stop. And let's see how it works in action. What is the supreme law of the land? B, the constitution. Correct. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? C. Separation of powers. Who is the first president? That's easy. C. George Washington. What is the one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Freedom of speech. Oh, that's too easy. Let me get it wrong on purpose this time and see if it uh, corrects me. Right, it tells me the correct answer is B, between age 18 and 26. What does the president's cabinet do? B advises the president. Correct. What is the economic system in the United States? C, market economy. This is pretty fun. I can't stop doing this. If you wish to stop the quiz, please say stop. It's getting tired of me being a smarty pants. What did the Declaration of Independence do? B. Declared our independence from Great Britain. It really is tired of me. Okay, let's stop. Actually, this is how I passed my own naturalization test, to be honest. With this method, you can create any quiz from any material you have. Okay, with these examples, I hope you get where this is going. You can easily reference your collections of notes and plug them into your prompt. With a long context window, the sky is the limit. Let me know what creative prompts you come up with in the comment section below. Oh, by the way, there's another simpler way to pass multiple notes to the prompt with one click. You just click the little up button. By default, it sends the active note to the prompt and you can start a chat around it. Or you can set the context by using the copilot command, set no context in chat mode, and fill in the folder name or text. Most of the times, this is the easiest way to pass context to the model. If you work with a model with super long context window, this is going to be very powerful.
That's it for today. I'm Logan, an engineer and creator committed to make AI accessible to everyone. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.